What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am super excited because I am finally feeling the summer vibes around here in New Jersey. I feel like you guys can see the trees behind me. I'm getting nice and green now. The sun is shining so it is time for my updated everyday summer makeup routine is what I'm going to call it. It obviously is still spring like officially but this is definitely going to be like my everyday makeup routine during the summer. It's easy. I kind of focus on glowy beautiful skin, some bright pops of color to make it a little summery and everything is drugstore so everything's super affordable. I love all of these products the drugstore has just been pushing out the most fabulous products recently so it makes it so easy to just use like a full face of drugstore stuff because it's all so stinking good so without further ado make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified of all my future uploads and let's go ahead and get started alrighty so like I said the focus of this is kind of like pretty glowy bronzy sort of skin so it might seem like I'm using a lot of face products but trust me that's really the bulk of what this is like I do this in the morning in like under 15 minutes so it's very simple I have finally gotten my skin to a place that I am so happy with it which makes me so happy I have struggled really badly last year and the year before with a adult acne, which was really weird because I didn't struggle with it when I was like in high school or like the time when you would normally break out. I was just picking my face last night. So I created a blemish here, but for the most part, my skin has been like blemish free and I've been so happy with it. I told you guys a couple months ago that I was using tretinoin. This is actually a mixture. So this is tretinoin and azelaic acid. It is a prescription. I get mine from Dramatica and it has made a dramatic difference in my skin. I know tretinoin is a really popular product that a lot of people use on their skin, but it really has been a game changer for me for not only my acne, but also also the redness, rosacea, and like uneven texture that I have on my skin, it's really helped a ton. So I really, really love this. I wanna thank Dramatica for partnering with me on this section of today's video. This is, I believe, my fourth bottle of this. If not, maybe even fifth, and I have seen such a change in my skin. Like if you go back and watch videos of mine from like last year, you'll see that I have a lot more acne on this area of my face. I was getting it really bad down here, and it was just not the vibe. So this has been incredible. I use it once per day at night. You can do everything online. Like Dramatica is completely online. You basically can just speak with the dermatology team and they will create a personalized formula to you and your skin concerns and can target multiple skin concerns as well. And you'll get a 28 day supply in the mail. So this is what your little container will look like, but it'll be tailored to you. And then after the 28 day supply, you can make adjustments if you find necessary, which is why they don't just send you like three months in advance because they want to make sure that it works for your skin and will follow up to make sure that you're happy with it and that it's effective on your skin. They'll deliver it right to your door. So they did give me a discount code for you guys. You can use code Kelly one and that's going to get you your first month free and then 10% off of your second month. The normal price is $24.99 per month. So it's not super expensive per month, but then you can obviously use that discount code on top of it. So I will link it right down below in the description box. Definitely check it out. If you guys have been struggling with skin concerns, I really would highly, highly recommend has helped me tremendously. So that's the tea on the skincare. You do want to make sure with that, since it is a retinoid that you are using sunscreen, I always apply that as part of my skincare routine. So that has already been on since earlier in the day, but I just want in and prime this is the l'oreal prime lab this is the pore minimizer i put that on i don't think i said the name of it now i'm going to go in and i'm going to use the physician's formula butter glow liquid bronzer this stuff is my fave it's so good and i'm going to mix it with this neutrogena serum foundation sometimes i mix them together sometimes i put one on first and then the next i think i actually might do that today because sometimes it's easier than i don't have to like mix on the back of my hand so i'll go in with the liquid bronzer first for me this is great because my face is always much lighter than my body is since it always obviously has spf on it and i don't typically self tan it so this kind of helps to get my face so that it matches the rest of my body to begin with but again you can also mix it in with a foundation i think too if you're typically the type of person that goes and buys like a darker foundation shade for summer once you get tan you could probably just get this and add a little bit into whatever foundation you use in the winter and not have to buy another foundation just a little hack but i really like it. it gives a pretty little bronzy glow to the skin and then i'm gonna go in like i said with this neutrogena foundation this is such a good product and i feel like i've never heard anybody talk about it i'm pretty sure it came out last summer if i remember correctly but it has a little like dropper just a little serum foundation and I absolutely love it. It's very lightweight on the skin, but it does give a nice coverage and it lasts very well throughout the day, super hydrating. So if you're a dry skin girly like myself, you're gonna love this. And I just have it in shade medium 01 and it has just quickly become a fave of mine. Now for concealer, I've really been loving the Physicians Formula Butter Glow Concealer. I feel like a broken record. I've talked about it so many times. So this is shade light medium and I go in and apply this to my under eyes and then I 
also like to use it on the high planes of my face just to highlight them so we have a little brightness in the center of our face as well. I don't like this little sponge that's on the top of it, so I just use my beauty sponge to blend. But this is a super lightweight and brightening concealer, which I really, really like, but it still has a good coverage and wears very well throughout the day. You guys will see, I will set it with a powder, but when I do that, it wears really nicely. For contour, I've been loving the new e.l.f. Halo Glow, the little contour one. I'm using this in shade medium tan, and I'm gonna go in and I gotta squeeze a little more out of here. Apply to my cheeks. I'll do like one down here that I kind of blend out on my jawline and one on the forehead. And this just helps to sculpt out the face. This is not my normal brush that I use to blend this. I need to get my, my trusty brush. All right, got it. It was on my makeup vanity. This is the e.l.f. Complexion Duo brush and I feel like it blends it out super, super flawlessly. So that's what I like to use to blend. But I just blend it out. Okay, once I have that all blended out to my liking, I feel like that first brush messed me up a little bit. You know what, it just always, just, everything's better when you have your like trusty brushes that you love. But we're gonna jump into a cream blush. I've really been liking these new ones from Hard Candy. This is the Face Off Blush. And the shade on this is Born Yesterday. So I'm gonna go in on the cheeks. It's pretty pigmented, so you don't need a ton of it. And I'm gonna go in and just tap that to give us some pretty color. We are gonna go in with a powder blush too though later. So I kind of just use this like as the base and it is a luminous finish. So it has a little bit of a sheen to it, which I personally like. I feel like glowy skin just reminds me of summer, which I love. All right, that is it for our liquid products. And I'm telling you, that's like the base of this tutorial. Now I'm gonna go in with powders. I've really been liking the Physicians Formula Butter Glow Pressed Powder. I don't like to overuse powder, especially in the summer. So I'm gonna go in on my under eyes with it and set my lid area. Cause those will always crease on me. Like no matter what product I use, I'm gonna get creasy if I don't set it with a powder. And then I'm gonna go in and set like the T-zone area too. You know, my nose, the center of my forehead, and we're on my mouth and chin. And we are looking pretty good. For my brows, I'm gonna jump in with this Wet n Wild Clear Brow Gel and just lift them and sculpt them into place and how I like them. I do like the Clear Milani Brow Gel. It's newer, it's called like the Stay Put. I like that better than this. I can't find it right now. So I'm using this one. This one's not bad either. Just a clear little brow gel that I'll run through my brows. And then I'm gonna jump in with this CoverGirl brow. This is their Easy Breezy Brow Brow Pen. So it's like a tiny little pen like this. And the shade that I have is, I don't think it says, I think it's just like brown, but I'm gonna go in and draw little brow strokes just to add a little bit more fluffiness to my brows and just fill them in a little bit more. Now we're gonna get started with the eyes. I'm gonna zoom you all in. Alrighty, I zoomed you guys in as we go in to the eyes. Now, honestly, on the eyes, I keep it super minimal. Sometimes I don't even do anything on them, but for today, I'm gonna show you what I like to do. If I have a little extra time, I'm gonna grab this palette. This is from CoverGirl and this is the Shimmering Beige. This is part of their new like, clean line. I like these palettes a lot actually. Or actually before I go in with that, sorry, we're <laughs> scrolling back. I'm going to grab my bronzer. I'm not going to add bronze anymore on my face. I feel like we're bronzy enough, but I'm going to grab some of whatever bronzer I'm using on my face. This is just the L'Oreal Bronze Please bronzer. Put it on a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to go in and put that in my crease. Think of this kind of as contouring for your eye. You know, we always contour our face, but then we want to contour the eye too. So I'm just going to buff this back and forth in the crease area just to define out that area, but I don't want to use anything that's too, too dark. So just going to buff that. Then I'm going to jump in with this shade right here. It's really pretty shimmer and pop that on with my finger all over the lid on both eyes. And I'm also going to pop that shade right beneath the brow bone just to highlight that area. Now we're going to jump back to this palette, but for right now we're going to put it to the side. I'm going to go in and do my mascara, which Milani anti-gravity, this is still my baby. So I'm going to go in and coat this on my lashes. It's just so good. I love it. The drugstore really has been popping off with mascaras recently. I feel like there's a lot of good ones, but this one is still my fave. So I'm going to just coat my lashes with this. And before I do my lower lashes, I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that bronzer on a fluffy brush and just put a little bit of that on the lower lash line just to define out down there. And sometimes I don't do the lower lashes. So it really depends on the day and like how much time I have. So you can like skip this step if you want something a little less dramatic. All right, so that's that on the mascara. Now I'm gonna jump back into this palette as promised. I'm gonna go in with this darkest shade. It's not super dark. I would say it's a medium brown. And I'm gonna pack that on an angled brush and then I'm gonna do a little wing right off the side of my eye with that, just to kind of add this cat-eyed effect to the eyes without having to do like full-on winged liner. Then I'm gonna jump in with this really light tan ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. I think the shade is Cantaloupe, but I've had this for so long that all of the like writing has come off of the packaging. <laughs> 
but I'm pretty sure it's shade Cantaloupe. And I'm gonna just work that into my waterline. And then that is it on the eyes. To finish off the face, I have been obsessed with this blush. You guys know if you've been watching my recent videos, it's my favorite. This is the ColourPop blush in the shade Papaya. It just makes everything better. It's so stinking pretty. It's $12. If you get it off ColourPop's website, you can use code Kelly, which will give you 10% off. And it is just so, so pretty. So this is like my little pop of color for summer. I just absolutely love it. And it gives the prettiest pop to the cheek. It's super pigmented, it's matte, so it kind of helps to set down that more luminous blush that we used, that more luminous liquid blush, and make sure it lasts all day. It's just so pretty. And I'm even gonna put a little on my nose, and I feel like this just makes the whole look. I love it. For highlight, I love this Hello Halo Blush Lighter Duo. This is from Wet n Wild in the shade I Met Someone. And I'm gonna go in with the highlight side. Sorry, I was holding it a little too low. Just highlight my cheeks with this, a little on the nose. And then for lips, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Lip Liner. This one is in the shade Little One. It's a nude lip liner and just line my lips. Then the lipstick that I've been loving, this is from the new e.l.f. O Face Lipsticks in the shade Dirty Chalk. It's so pretty. I'm gonna go in with that all over the lips. This is a kind of like pinky nude, but I absolutely love it. Wears really well. Shade is just perfect for every day. And then I always gotta add a gloss. I like to add a little bit of a brighter pop in the summer. So these new CoverGirl Yummy glosses have been my fave. So this is in the shade, but first a Cosmo. It's like a really pretty, like almost cherry red sort of shade. And I'm gonna just go over my lips with that. Makes them a little bit brighter and gives kind of a juicy, glossy finish. And that is everything, you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I will have everything that we use listed right down below. Like I said, everything is a drugstore and affordable. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.